Bitch, you dropped that one, they mill me all, ayy You get two lead off, ayy Jim gon' do you all, ayy We don't get no fast now Niggas be low, so I'm jumpin' like joy Throw that check, next shit ain't important I got this new juju shit What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is your host with the most Tomboy Double O and you're kind of watching Tomboy TV and welcome back to another episode of some retail resale price estimations for Supreme and this time we are here to talk about Supreme Week 12 Fall Winter 19 that is highlighted by the very expensive, very somewhat profitable item of the Ramoa collection. This is the iconic luggage bag carrier. They make crazy stuff, typically very limited. This is part two of their ever so lasting collaboration they've had entirely with Supreme. Now lighting is maybe just a bit weird. I'm trying to record this at night. So I did have to make, do some makeshift lighting. So I might look a little bit yellow with white lighting mixed in. But anyways, yo, oh, I forgot, sorry. Some of y'all don't speak rich. Sorry, I forgot. I'm just kidding. Maybe some of y'all are too rich with the AirPod Pros out there. I know some people still lacking on the AirPod game, but don't worry, I was too until my homie blessed me with him. Uh, shout out Harlem Reseller for that. But we're gonna pull up the full drop list, but you know, as usual, before I start, I do gotta talk about my three biggest announcements. And also, FYI, we got another big release coming this week, which is a Travis Scott Air Force Ones, the multicolor with the busting gun, gum bottoms. Uh, so if you guys wanna know how to buy those, all the tips and tricks that I have for you guys, Make sure you check out yesterday's video for that. But before I start, once again, StockX, CockX, also mighty StockX. Great platform. Don't get me wrong, they do very well. They executed the entire reselling community really well. They did it well. They pushed it off well. But undercutting is the biggest issue, I have to say, on that platform. So please, if you have any of these items we talk about today or any other things that you are trying to flip on the market, please do not be undercutting under anyone else. Please do not be coming with these crazy low prices. It is not worth it. At the end of the day, if everyone just holds their lowest asks, we'll all be a happy, profitable family. But of course, some people will not listen to me, but it is what it is. I try my best to make it clear. And then second of all, I do state my opinion in this video, so make sure you guys don't get offended. And third of all, most importantly, save best for last. If you guys want that good luck, that good karma, that good blessing, on that good blessing, that good luck on this Thursday's drop for that Ramoa, for the Bogos, for whatever the hell you want to do, Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And of course, show some love with the likes and comments. I'd appreciate that so much because your boy is out here hustling this content as fast and as good as I can. Not as good, but as, as efficient as I can, as I say. But anyways, yo, we have a pretty small drop list besides some few pieces. So we're going to get into that real quick. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're going to get into it right now. You know, I had to take my usual corner placement. We're going to go from least hype to most hyped and least resale to most resale. So first of all, we got the washed. Shout out to all the washed resellers out there. The washed velvet bell hat, dropping in a multitude of colorways. I could see this being a very Instagram worthy item just because it does have that classic, you know, London vibe coming down to it. But it does have that looks, it is velvet, looks to be denim as well. We got the black, the blue, the orange, the olive, and the red colorways coming down on this one. Uh, bell hats don't really do well. It's not a lot of people's forte. If it is, it will be sitting online because not that many people are fans of this one. Of this hat right here, but it will be retailing for approximately $48 just around there because it's not no regular camp cap. And I said, once again, it is that British looking bucket hat, American bucket hat. You know, we got those big visors. They carry around the small looking visor. But anyways, next up, we go on to the camo leather collection. First of all, we got the hooded jackets along with the five pocket pants. Only two different colors releasing in this one. Oh, we got that gold and camo looking one. Then we have the red one as well. Now, if you guys don't know, I'm a massive fan of camo. Unfortunately, not rocking any today. But, you know, we were rocking some of that drip yesterday. Oh, well, these right here, man, are just not it. These leather pants, I'm not a fan of the leather pants. Leather jackets, I could maybe do, but these pants, absolutely not, not a fan. But if you can pull these off, I could see them in the, Oh, yo, those pants, the olive pants with the Travis Scott's. Oh my goodness, that would slap. Not even kidding. It's cowhide leather with leather applique pattern and satin lining. And unfortunately, it's going to be dummy expensive. Is it worth buying this just for that one picture? Honestly, yeah. Because I want something to match really well with those shoes when I get... Actually, they're, they already are in. They're in the house. They're in the house. Secured from sneaker stash. But anyways, yo. Retail on these will be very high. I expect jacket to be over $250 and the pants to be around $200 plus dollars because it is that high quality material. And then we go on to the basic beanie right here, which is your basic beanie that looks like when you could just pull up your face, cut some holes in, and boom, you got like a Fufu Supreme ski mask, or you hit a lick, you know, whatever you feel like doing. Oh, uh, we got a few different colorways. We got a brown, a black, a blue, a red, a gray, a coral, a navy, and a neon green. We'll be releasing this week on the only Basic branding you really do got is the corner box logo that will be featured on the stitching of the hat. You can wear it however you want. It does look to be pretty big, so you could like fold it over. You could wear it straight down, 
however you like to rock these beanies. Because it is getting brick AF outside, man. I know AF is an overused term, but it's getting brick as hell outside. I've been freezing. I was out in a hoodie like this, and I almost froze my ass off. But anyways, we're going to keep it pushing onto the most hyped... Col oh, I'm not going to call it the most hyped, but one of the most sought after pieces and collections. Oh my goodness, I just dropped the iPad. <gasps> no. We go on to the Martin Wong collection right here, which we retelling a lot. Of, I mean, which should be releasing it with a lot of pieces. We got the Supreme Red Street short sleeve top. We got the Secret World Rayon short sleeve shirt, and we got the eight ball beanie. And then we have the Rayon shirt, which is the item to go for from one of the items to go for this week. I'd have to say like one thousand percent. But in the entire collection, I did have this post very early. I talked about it on Monday. The back door actually supplied me with the info. Saying that we do have the Martin Wong collection the collection releasing this week. And we also do have some more pieces coming from it. We have the Big Heat Tee, the Iglesia Pentecostal Tee, the Ator 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 Attorney Street Long Sleeve Tee, the Big Heat Skateboard, and the Iglesia Pentecostal Skateboard. Now those one, two, three, four, five items are unseen at the moment. I know I'm kind of rambling on right now. The Martin Wong collection, most of it's seen. But those five pieces that I said, the Big Heat Tee, the Iglesia Tee, Attorney Tee, Big Heat Skateboard, and Iglesia Pentecostal Tee are all unseen at the moment. So those will be coming out official images probably closer to tomorrow. Now, I am recording this a little bit earlier just because I want to get this info out for you guys as soon as possible. But most of those items will most likely be a pretty decent pass unless it's some crazy sought-after item. And if it is the case, I'll be posting it on my page at hype underscore NJ. But anyways, we're back to the topic of Martin Wong right here. He's been doing a lot of stuff with Supreme this season. Uh, this one right here is the Rayon shirt, something everyone's been looking forward to. The 8-ball all-over hoodie is doing the sky high right now. I think almost at around $400, and some sizes are over $400. So I expect this retail on the Rayon shirts to be pretty low and resale to be almost double, if not triple, on top of this one. Because the Rayon is a little bit more sought after, and typically Rayons are much more limited. But I expect the re retail on this Rayon short sleeve shirt is going to be around $148 to $158. Then we got to the beanie, which is going to be around $38. We got the Rayon Short Sleeve Secret World one, which is the bricks on it, which it might end up just being a brick. Uh, and that one be retailing for around $148 as well. And then we got the Ridge Street Short Sleeve Top, which is basically looking almost kind of like Chinatown. And it has like a beer logo on it. It has some nice clouds on it. Very all over print. And typically, unfortunately, all over prints don't really do that well. So expect these this item right here to be bricking. The other Rayon shirt might do somewhat well, maybe like uh, 40 to $50 on top of retail. But the main one is the 8-ball design. That's what everyone is looking forward to. And then this is the 8-ball beanie on it as well. The 8-ball beanie, I could see maybe going to $70 to $80 on that piece. It's, it's very good. I like it. I'm a fan of it. Uh, but once again, I'm going to tell you straight up, Martin Wong, I don't know nothing about him. I didn't know anything about him before this whole collection released. So I'm just going basically off the design. But it's nice simplistic. There's no big Supreme branding, so it does look kind of simplistic. Anyways, yo, enough of Martin Wong. Shout out to you, homie, I guess. <laughs> we got the top logo denim camp cap, which we're retailing for around $52 to $54. We got the blue, the red, and the black. We'll be releasing this Thursday in, as I said, three different colorways. And the only printing you do got is on top of the dome coming straight back along the front, along the top of it. Uh, Supreme branding on is slightly seen. No box logo on this one. But we can expect resale to be very minimal on this going along with that whole theme. No big branding. Most likely ain't going to do well unless it's a dope collection. Or if it's something very sought after that uh, has some nice simple design. Like, you know, Box Logo, by the way. Another image came out of somebody rocking it from Supreme's team. She's looking crispy right there. But now, next we move on to the Rhinestone Script Hooded Sweatshirt. I know a lot of people are fans of this one. But resale wise, it just won't be there. There's no branding on the front. It's definitely a cool personal piece. We do got the nice rhinestone on the back. It is a kind of fleece with the rhinestone applique logo. With it being rhinestone, I do expect retail to be a little bit more than the typical $148 to $154 retail that is on hoodies. So I can see this one maybe going to $178, $168, just around that ballpark estimate. There will be multiple colorways coming down, but all of them are an easy pass if you are trying to go for the flip. Uh, then we go to the long sleeve pocket tee right here which unfortunately does not feature a nice branding on it just has a nice little corner supreme box logo on it on the pocket but we got a multitude of colorways coming down too many for me to discuss we do have two camo colorways coming at the back that does actually match the uh, jackets that did come out this season as well uh, all, con all con slub jersey i'd say these are another easy pass great personal smalls i would still stay away from i don't even expect smalls or xls to do decent unless you got that pre-order or you guys do have a buyer for this item. Uh, then we go on to the last few pieces, which is we'll go right into the leather collar puffy jacket. 
puffy jackets. I've been a big fan lately, especially when TNF came out with the statue series. A puffy just made me feel like mad good. It did fit pretty good as well, and it was a size medium. Like, it's typically I wear a large XL, but medium did feel it fit pretty decently. Uh, three different colorways of this one. We have a black, a plaid, and a yellow. And we do have the box logo featuring on the left chest side of this one. Uh, the box logo does come in that nice red branding, and it does have that collar on it. Also, this jacket, I don't see really doing too well. It's not too hot of an item, if I'd have to say so myself. The collar, though, is leather. As I said, leather collar, collar puffy jacket. Lambskin collar, by the way. Three different colorways, as I previously stated. And retail on this one, I expect to be around $250 to $300. Now, Supreme lately has been raising retails. And that's why it's really just the whole wave is just moving off of Supreme, including myself. Like, I'm not, I don't, I'm not into it as much as I used to be, but uh, every week we do got some cool pieces dropping, so I do try to go for those. Uh, then we go on to the Pledge Allegiance pin, which they have already done something like this very similarly. This honestly reminds me of the U USPS logo, though. It does say Pledge Allegiance, has the bald eagle on it, and it does come in two different colorways, a like silver and gold. Retail on pins is helping you like typically like eight dollars eight to ten dollars just around there if they're not a free gift typically the only ones that are free gifts are the super cheap like circle looking pants not the actually detailed and engraved items uh, then we go on to the mount crew neck right here which we retelling in a multitude of different colorways the people I, I expect this one to do somewhat decent not gonna lie even though it's not a crazy piece it just it has a nice graphic on it it's embroidered and the entire graphic does read if I can kick it off the dome, it does say, thank you. Thank you for the world so sweet. Thank you for the food we eat. Thank you for the birds that sting. Thank you, Supreme, for everything. Oh, yes. I was so hyped reading that. That just got me into a fire mood. Yo, that kind of reminds me of Mount Fuji. And then, oh, I might just have to. Oh, is there a natural colorway? Is there a natural colorway? No, there's not. There's an ashtray colorway, though. Damn. I really do like that. I love mountains. I love scenery. I love nature, man. I'm a big fan of that stuff, even though I'm always in the city. But I really do like that nice peace and quiet you do get. Oh, man, Mount Fuji in Japan is something I've always wanted to get. Somewhere I've always wanted to go. But anyways, not, not to get sad out here. But we do go into a few different colorways. Retail on this one, I expect to be around $148. Resale could reach around 200 in certain colorways. And I could see some going for more, especially smalls and XLs. Purple colorway would be a great size to go for in smaller sizes just because of the fact it is more of a female colorway but you know we're 2019 we respect each other if you're a male you want purple i would rock purple as well like i don't have anything against that but just saying females would typically attract themselves to the color purple instead of the other ones that are releasing like mustard green for example not a good color to go for uh, but next we go on to the last items of this week which is the supreme ramoa luggage we got the hold on the cabin plus and the check-in so Thing is, last season they released the not two seasons ago they released the 45 liter and the 86. I want to say 86. So they were bigger. These are smaller. They're more limited and they are more expensive. The premium cook group actually just have a little backdoor action on these. Uh, but we do have two different sizes. This is playing off. I remember the hoodie exactly. That's when I woke up and saw this that Supreme posted it. I was like, yo, that's exactly the beanie that released. I think fall winter 16. But I, I don't know what season. I think it was 16. But I know exactly what hoodie it was. It has a spider web on it. Supreme right here on the left side. I think that hoodie's doing somewhat well. And especially with this collection now, that hoodie's going up in price. Like, it was a. If, if you somehow predicted that they would do something more with this design and held it, great thing for you because it's definitely going to go up in value. And we do actually have a Supreme box logo on these, um, just on the front part of the uh, bag. They're going to be sold separately. Uh, the check in is actually 31 by 20 by 10. It's an, oh, it is an 86 liter. Oh, so it's the same size. It is an 86 liter. And the Cabin Plus is a 49 liter. So actually a little bit smaller than the first one. But Cabin Plus means you can put into a cabin, but it's a little bit bigger than you would typically use. The check-in is what you can use to check in a bag. You know, it's a little bit bigger so when you go on vacation. Uh, but your boy will, looks like I did not get a text from Supreme. A lot of people didn't. Something was wrong. I know my boy did. And also the premium cook group knew about Ramoa wristbands that were given out today at Supreme New York. One of the homies got them. He got number he got under 25 25 only available in store at ramoa he got him so expect these to be very limited ramoa last time had about like 50 if i'm not mistaken luggages or i want to say 40 i know it was definitely a little bit more than 25 it was more than 25 for sure but um yeah he touched them so we're gonna have a video coming on these ramoas very soon this weekend so subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications if you guys want to see that shit go down but once again these uh okay retails 
Now, there's two different retails fluctuating around. Some people are saying for the small one, it's going to be 1600 and the big one's going to be 1800 From what I'm hearing, the small one's going to be 1789 The big one's going to be 1989 just around that ballpark estimate. But regardless, 16 to $1,800 for the small, uh, 1800 to 2000 And with tax, it's going to be over 2000 for the big one, no matter what. So if you are trying to go for these, I expect resale to be there. Will it reach the prices it has reached before? It may. It may. Okay, here's my reasoning. Box logo, yes. Design, fire, yes. But it doesn't have the all over Supreme branding. So, if somebody like a lot of influencers, they did bring a lot of hype on the luggage. It's like Supreme branding, exactly what you want. You can't really get better Supreme branding on an item like that, on a luggage bag like that, than they did before. Now, this one is decent. Will it do as much as it did last time? No. I expect small one to go around $3,000. $2750 to $3000 the big one maybe to 4k but as the highest I see them going for it, to be honest I do expect these to rise over value the one thing to keep in mind though they are much more limited than the last ones they also retail for more though and just the design isn't as hype beasty once again I'm going to use that word as hype beasty as the last one was so the, a lot of the dem demand and hype around it is not there but anyway, so good luck to you guys if you guys are going for the Ramoa I know they actually sold out pretty slow the first time they came out uh, I know man, I know a few people who got it manually. I personally didn't even try. Your boy was slightly broke back then. <laughs> it's still the same case, though. But anyways, yo, good luck to you guys if you're trying to go for it. Once again, Ramoa, I say it's definitely going to flip. If you're going to go for it, I definitely recommend going for it. How much money you're going to make? Still in the air. I expect $1,000 plus profit in each one just about, maybe slightly less with tax and all that. But definitely a safe very minimal risk on the resale end because they are limited, more limited than last time. And it's Supreme Ramoa. Every rich people rich people know what Ramoa is and they always be lugging them around the airports that i see so they're gonna be wanting but anyways yo i went off on a heavy tangent hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys so much for watching once again please subscribe to the channel i'd appreciate it so much catch you guys with the live cop and in-store video tomorrow and the next day so peace